Um, hello everyone, it is very nice to meet you again in this uh, video. And in this uh, video, I want to share with you the way how I learn uh, English vocabulary. Hopefully you will like it. Okay, and uh, for the first words I want to share with you in uh, this uh, video is the words um, experience in the now. Uh, firstly, I want to explain uh, to you the meaning of uh, this word uh, through the picture on the screen, as you can see, right? There is one guy is typing on the laptop, right? And uh, this guy has been using this laptop for around five years. So you can say that uh, this guy has uh, a lot of experience of using a, a laptop, right? So through this uh, picture, I guess you already um, clearly uh, understand uh, the meaning of the word experience, right? Yeah. We just want to say about um, the knowledge, right? That you get uh, by uh, doing stuff for a long time, yeah. And let's see the definition uh, for the meaning of these words according to the dictionary. Uh, experience is mean the process of getting knowledge or skill from doing, uh, seeing, or uh, feeling things. Yeah, it is so easy, right? And we have one example like this. Do you have any experience of working with kids? For this uh, question, it means that has you ever worked uh, with uh, them, uh, with uh, the kids, right? So uh, usually that um, uh, you will get uh, this question when you attend one interview, right? And uh, normally for interviewers, uh, they will ask uh, your experience uh, by doing uh, some things. So just now, uh, you want to get the job, but uh, ask one uh, teacher, right? So of course, uh, interviewers will ask uh, your experience of uh, working with the uh, kids because um, if you get uh, the job, uh, you will teach uh, the kids, right? So it is really uh, important, so that's why interview asks you uh, this question. Okay, and so through this example, I want to ask uh, you, uh, can you share to us about um, the question uh, interviewer already asked you uh, when you attended one uh, uh, interview uh, in the past to get your current job? And uh, for the second example, how would you the worst experience like this? The best way to learn is by experience, this means by doing things right. So for you, do you agree with this uh, sentence? And for me, I absolutely agree. I think uh, the best way to learn is by experience. Search out about um, uh, using uh, Excel application right uh, to uh, handle the data. So I think uh, if you just learn uh, theories right and also practice, uh, I think that you can uh, uh, do well uh, it's your application but uh, you need to um, uh, do it uh, for a long time it means uh, when you get one job right and uh, with that kind of jobs you have to use so much Excel uh, application right to uh, handle the data to analyze uh, analyze the data so I think um, with that uh, kind of job after five years so uh, you understand uh, very well about how to use Excel application. Yeah. And for you, do you agree uh, with uh, this uh, sentence? The best way to learn is by experience. I should chat about English, yeah, speaking, right? Um, if you um, uh, register one English course, right, around six months uh, to learn, right? Uh, you learn about writing, uh, speaking, yeah, listening, yeah, yeah. So I think for those skills, uh, uh, you can uh, manage well if you get one job, right? And every day uh, you have to do English with all of those uh, skills, uh, writing, uh, speaking, and uh, listening. Yeah. And um, uh, once you finish that English course, right? But uh, for your job, do not require you have to do English. So I think it is uh, impossible, right? Impossible for you to speak English well or listen well. Yeah. Okay, and we have uh, the final example how we you the worst experience like this. I know from experience that Tony never keep his promises. Tony is um, the name, right? Uh, the name of uh, the speaker. Yeah. So yeah, and uh, I'm sorry. I want to explain that again for you. Tony is the name, right? And uh, Tony is a friend of my speaker. Okay, let me read again uh, these examples. I know from experience that uh, Tony never keep his uh, promises. Yeah. 
So through this sentence, you understand for Tony, right? Uh, if he uh, says something, he will do, right? He promised to other people that he will do this or do that, and uh, he never uh, keep his uh, promises. So that's why his friend um, say this sentence, right? Like uh, confirm, yeah, confirm that uh, Tony never keep his uh, promises through uh, uh, experience, right? Yeah, uh, I think for this speaker, uh, uh, had. Um, yeah, I had uh, uh, talked to uh, Tony uh, many times, right? And Tony uh, promised uh, to him that uh, he will do this thing, uh, that thing, but uh, Tony never keeps uh, this promise, uh, promises. Uh, perhaps uh, Tony uh, promised uh, to other people and for this uh, speaker uh, now, right? So that's why this speaker uh, due to centers I know from experience that uh, in the past, right? And uh, for this uh, speaker, right, uh, already know, uh, already heard uh, Tony's uh, promise uh, to several people, right? And uh, Tony uh, never keep his uh, promises. Okay, and so related to this uh, question, I want to ask you that um, for you, when you promise to uh, other people, uh, do you keep your promise or you never care about your promise and you just say uh, for uh, fun, right? Or just... Uh, make uh, the listeners uh, feel uh, satisfied, yeah. But uh, for me, I always try to keep my promises. I, I don't try because uh, uh, for some time, right, at that moment, I really want to do that, right, and I promise. But uh, later, I cannot keep my promise. But um, usually, I will say sorry uh, to the uh, people uh, I promise if I cannot uh, fulfill my promise. Yeah. And how about you? Uh, when you cannot uh, keep a job, promise uh, how you do uh, you will ignore your promise or you um, say sorry uh, to um, uh, the people uh, you say that a uh, promise yeah okay and uh, 